Hey, back at it again uh, from the weekend. Just finished up with the 2v2 weekend, which went really well. I love that 2v2 mode. I know you guys do too. It's super fun to play with. A um, couple things, couple things. First, uh, let's open this clan chest. I haven't opened that yet. We'll see what we get out of that bad boy. Hopefully something sweet. More heal spells, of course. Um, catching that thing up. Looks like a bunch of minion hordes and... Skeleton army. Okay, I think I've only gotten one legendary ever out of that clan chest, and so uh, <laughs> I don't expect much. Um, back at it again today with this bowler deck. The bowler deck has been treating me real well. I'm right near my, uh, I guess I'm a few wins away from my personal best, and so it's going to be difficult for me, but I'm going to play it anyway on the ladder and see how well it does. Hopefully it does pretty good for us. Uh, <laughs> I love this deck. I've been debating or oh dude i'm just gonna upgrade my arrows okay so what that does is that allows me to take out like level one level lower of the archers so i think it might be worth worth it it gives me a little more uh tower damage and things like that i'm not gonna upgrade them to level 12 yet because i need that sweet sweet gold for some other things so we'll see um yeah, we'll get right into it and see what we can do here with this bowler deck. Hopefully, we get a win out of win out of this today. Um, level 12. Okay. <laughs> okay. That makes sense right off the bat, level 12. Um, okay, so we're going to hold off here. we got one spectator. Wait for Flummy, Flummy, Flummy to do what he wants to do. So he's going to put skeletons in the back. So we'll just do a nice slow push with our bowler. Kind of force him to play his uh, golem, it looks like, which is excellent. Um, what do we have for that? We have the Inferno Tower, and so I will put a Baby Dragon there, and I need, I need the Graveyard to come out real quick. Oh, good. Baby Dragon focused on the Musketeer, which is more than I could have asked for, I think. So we'll put Knight down, and then I'm going to have to put a Goblin Gang down. Oh my gosh, that was just bad luck. Dude, bad freaking luck. That was bad mojo. He pulled the Executioner out, dude. Flipping. He overplayed his Tornado, so that was good on our part. Um, that worked out really well. Hopefully we can take that Musketeer out with too much... <sighs> Dang, dude. That was a real bad push for us, and so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start up on this side. See if I can't pull something together. Gosh, dang, that Golem, man. Just did not... I didn't have anything uh, ready for it. Now I do a little bit. So I'm going to put a baby dragon down still. Um, hopefully we can deal with all that. And then as soon as he drops his musketeer, I'm going to put that graveyard down. And hopefully, yeah, hopefully we can get that done. And then we'll freeze that action. We got the baby dragon and we got the musketeer in the freeze. So that was a great freeze on our part. I think that worked out really well for us. And then he had to log that, so that log saved his bacon too. So that worked out really well for us. So we're just rolling with, we got a bowler still on the map. The only problem is that baby dragon's going to take out that bowler unless we can do something about it. So we're going to put a knight down. Um, gosh dang it. Just take out that baby dragon already. Holy cow. Or not, whatever. So we'll put the bowler down. And then we'll go ahead, we'll put a knight down as well and then launch a graveyard see if we can't take that tower all the way out and then we got his bowler uh, we has golem taken care of pretty much with our inferno tower so I'm not too worried about that so we'll take care of that lickety split and then we will take care of his musketeer like that like that and then the only problem is <laughs> he's got the he's got come on just take that musketeer out he's got the oh my gosh that golem's gonna take our tower out that's okay, we're gonna start a nice big counter push here. I'm not gonna worry too much about that. Yeah, I am gonna worry about that goal. <laughs> oh shoot, we got a freaking Executioner loaded up on our tower because it's focused on his golem over there. That's good for him. So we'll drop that down, and then as soon as, oh you stinking son of a gun tornado. That was an excellent tornado on his part. We'll drop a graveyard back there, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna freeze all that. Come on. Come on, let's do some damage. Come on. Dude, how are those skeletons taking out my graveyard? Just those skeletons were taking out my flipping graveyard. That was stupid. That was absolutely stupid. Now he can just log us away and we're screwed. So that's a game over, basically. That's unfortunate. Holy crap. 
Those skeletons took out my entire graveyard. Good for him, dude. I think we played that fairly well, actually. Um, unfortunately, it just didn't go our way in the end. Uh, we're going to still get back at it again with Gonzi Gonzi. If I end up... Nah, dude. I'm going to win this one right here. I think we did fairly well on that one. We took that tower down, and I'm not... I'm not too bent out of shape about it. I'm not. All right. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Okay. You're not going to do anything? Ugh. Bowler is the probable worst. Oh, perfect. We'll put a bowler there. Hopefully, we can take out... Yeah. That was a pretty good place. We only got one hit off. So, that's not too bad. We'll put a... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Of course, you got a baby dragon. Everybody's playing with the baby dragons now. Everybody's doing it. Just don't log that, please. Or fireball that. Oh, excellent play on his part. Excellent play. We'll put a graveyard down anyway. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have to... Oh, shoot. Arrow that. Oh, flip. I think I messed up. Dang it. We'll arrow that. And then hopefully we can get a few hits with those little skellies. Not too bad. Um, Baby Dragon should go take out that Goblin Hut all the way. Come on. Get one more hit. Oh, dang it. I thought it was going to get one more hit. It did not. So he's got... Oh man, this is the Hut Master. You know these are my least favorite decks in the world to play against. They're just so frustrating. They're just so annoying. Um, so we'll do that, that. We'll let him try and fireball us. Don't fireball us. Don't fireball us. <laughs> take, take that baby dragon out. Keep my bowler alive. You know I like my bowler in there. I don't have arrows in rotation, unfortunately. That stinks. So hopefully we can get in there and do some damage with that. Um, baby... The bowler's not that strong on health right now, or else I would have put the grave down. Oh, dang it. Let's do that. And then let's do a little of that action right there. Boom. Take all that out. Take all that out. Come on. Let's do that. Let's take that out. Boom. Take that tower out. Please. Please. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, baby dragon four defense against that uh, stinking goblin hut. Damn it. Those things are so annoying. So we got arrows to take care of his uh, goblin barrel. We got our own goblin gang to take care of his baby dragon. Arrow that away. Boom, boom. Not too shabby. Oh, he's got arrows of his own, so good job for him. Um, that stinking baby dragon didn't come within range of our tower, so I'm going to have to put the inferno tower down. But that'll be okay in the long run because it'll pretty much tank for anything coming our way from those stupid, annoying huts. So I'm okay with that. So we'll drop that down. We will drop another bowler down. Bowler is excellent defense against all, pretty much everything that he's got coming our way. And then we'll arrow that again. Not too worried about that. And pretty good game overall. Bowler is probably one of the best counters for the Barbarian Hut, in my opinion. I absolutely love it. It does so good. Okay, so we got a win out of that one. Not, good, not bad. I'm super happy about that. Gosh, that first game. That was, hor that was horrible. Okay. Get back at it again. <laughs> one more. Let's do one more. Hopefully we can get one more win out of this bad boy. I'll give give him a little fireball action. And then we will get right back into it. Unfortunately, I lost more the first battle. And then I won that battle. That was unfortunate. Okay. Sorry. A little bit sick today. Um, allergy season is upon us here. And I have allergies so bad. I don't know if any of you get... Oh, I hate allergies. Absolutely hate them. But anyway, all right. Getting back into it. I'm going to put a knight in the back at 2.30. Two minutes and 30 seconds. We're going to put... Oh, never mind. We're going to put a bowler right there. Should be able to defend against whatever he's got coming. He has to play something sooner than I do because I played five elixir on the map. So he's got minions coming our way. Not a big deal. We will take those out. Unfortunately, the Ice Wizard did not get in range of our tower. Oh! And then he played Baby Dragon, which isn't too big a deal. I'm going to do that. Hopefully, Baby Dragon. Come on, come on, come on. Get my freeze in action. Oh, get my freeze there. Oh, dang it. He zapped my graveyard. So I got to wait now. I pretty much, I just have to wait. The Baby Dragon's going to take out my bowler, which is sad. <laughs> I'm so sad. Okay, we'll put another baby dragon of our own down. And that'll do pretty good. Oh crap. That's okay, I'm not too worried about it. We'll put Inferno Tower down, take out that Royal Giant. Boom, arrow those away. I didn't even have to arrow those away, but I did anyway. We wanted to see those level 11 arrows in action. And they did pretty good, they did pretty good. 
So thank you. Thank you very much. There needs to be a thank you. Is there a thank you? There's not a, oh, there is a thanks. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I don't use emotes that much. Um, <laughs> a thanks. Thank you very much. Okay, so now he's got in rotation, he has a baby dragon. So we'll put a bowler clear in the back. And then hopefully by the time the bowler gets up there and the baby dragon focuses on it, we'll just drop our goblin gang, take care of all that action. Um, dang, that baby dragon got all the way to our tower. That's okay. We'll drop a knight, and then we'll drop a graveyard, and then we will drop a little bit of freeze action right there. Dang it, I wish I could have... Uh, arrowed. Arrowed, don't miss, don't miss. Yes, get all that, get all that. Those little Larrys, come on, dude. Take out that Ice Wizard and hit that tower. That night, we'll just hit that tower. It's gonna take it all the way down. Holy cow, I did not see that coming, but I am okay with it. So now we got a little bit of a uh, Royal Giant coming our way. Not a problem, not a problem at all. So we'll take that out, we'll take that with that, and then we should be able to put that there with our goblin gang come on take that out and then arrow all that boom boom arrow that battle ends come on baby let's take this bad he's got another royal giant on the map ladies and gentlemen I'm just gonna freeze him I'm gonna freeze it that way he doesn't get any shots on our tower <laughs> okay that's okay I'm okay with that go ahead and try this deck out we're doing pretty good with it tomorrow I'm gonna keep on pushing with this deck and see how high I can get with it I'm just gonna keep with it since it's working for us we're at 4186 we should have won that first one I thought we did pretty dang good on the defense on that one uh, 4186 so we'll keep on pushing getting higher and higher and high get higher and higher don't listen to that reverse that I'll edit that out anyway be sure and subscribe to the channel if you like what you saw. We got some sweet stuff coming up, obviously, in the mix. You guys know that. Uh, turn your notifications on, and good luck.